MGX Minerals has a lot going on. Uh, we've accomplished a tremendous amount in the last two years, and 2018 is the year that we're looking to extract lithium uh, from a variety of different sources. We're involved in uh, wastewater from oil fields, what we call petrolithium. We're involved in natural lithium, both from geothermal and traditional sources in South America. So we're looking for deployment of a rapid lithium extraction system. This is just one division of MGX. In 2018, we'd like to see progress in a number of different areas. We've invested in uh, mass storage, and we look to move to mass production on our low-cost zinc air mass storage battery technology. Uh, we have our magnesium uh, mine. Our magnesium project is coming up on PEA uh, within the next few weeks. We expect to file a PEA that will then launch the formal permitting process and pre-feasibility study for our magnesium project. So 2018 is sort of a growing up year for MGX. We look to generate some revenue uh, from lithium extraction as well as uh, advance our major projects, which would be uh, battery mass storage and magnesium. Uh, I'd round it out to say, and I'll kind of fill you in on the themes that really drive the company um, by rounding out and saying we're also beginning to advance our silica projects. These are high purity quartzite projects. We're sending uh, samples right now for metallurgy study to determine whether it's appropriate to use this material, which is a Canadian, a BC-based uh, uh, mining opportunity, um, whether this material can be used for uh, silicon for use in solar panels. So we're in a variety of different areas. We have a lot going on as a company, process technologies, projects, but there's one common theme. So what we're really come to, to, to I guess, bookend 2018 is that MGX going from being a mineral exploration or a junior mining company and then moving somewhat into clean tech uh, and, and industrial technologies, process technologies, to really being an energy company and really focusing on not necessarily the production of energy, but all things except really for the production of energy. So uh, battery materials, lithium, uh, lightweight materials, magnesium, uh, uh, solar panel uh, inputs, um, silicon, these types of materials, all the, the materials that will support the renewable energy uh, of the future or of right now moving forward, and uh, as well clean tech industries which help clean up the fossil fuel industry. So really what's going on with MGX is that we are taking advantage of opportunities that shift or, or target this fundamental transition that is occurring between fossil fuels and um, renewables. Uh, it's going to take a long time and to just plow everything into renewables uh, means you're missing opportunities. So while we do have a tremendous exposure to the renewable space, the battery space, uh, we also have exposure to clean tech technologies which allow us to help clean up the hydrocarbon space. I mean really the problem with the hydrocarbons more than anything is the carbon. The hydrogen part of the equation isn't really that big an issue. Hydrogen is a wonderful fuel, especially as an industrial or standalone fuel. So uh, there's tremendous opportunity environmentally and otherwise to uh, clean up the, uh, the fossil fuel space and take advantage of this opportunity. So really this fundamental shift is now what defines MGX as a company. A fundamental shift from fossil fuels to renewables and all the opportunities in between because this shift is going to take 20, 30, 50 years. I, I, I can't even put a number on it. It's going to take a long time. But eventually, the renewables industry will not be a couple of hundred billion dollars, and the uh, fossil fuel industry, you know, many trillions of dollars. It'll be the other way around. But this is going to take a long time, and in between, there's tremendous opportunities.